who killed Pablo Escobar? Is that 10 million US dollars question? If you ask the Americans, they'll say that they were the ones who killed him. And if you ask the Colombians, it was the Colombian government. In fact, as far as I know, neither of them did it. Don't glorify because Medellin is not Pablo Escobar. Good morning, Luca. Good morning, Hello. beautiful Hi. people. Hi. How are you? Great. How are you? Good. Yeah, thank you. Are you ready? So ready. Good morning, beautiful people. Today we are going on a Pablo Escobar tour, and this is the team. Christian and Aubrey. <laughs> My turn by, by your side, huh? <laughs> We're gonna have a Pablo Escobar tour. Thank you to Medellin City Tours that uh, invited us to join the tour today. There is a metro station that's really modern. Everything is really modern in Medellin. Wow, they are so good. Like, it's better than Italy. Like, yes. uh, we never saw some metro station so new, so clean, uh, so well functioning. You feel really safe here in Medellin. Perfect. We are in Santa Lucia. We will leave our vans, our truck camper here, and we will go with the metro to Pueb Pueblo. Pueblado. Pueblado. We are going to Pueblado. It's full of people. guys, we decided to do this tour not to glorify the person of Pablo Escobar but to have a neutral vision and uh, have some knowledge of history. Yeah. This, this is just 20 years ago but it's a big, 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 huge of part of uh, the history of Medellin, of Colombia and of all the world uh, actually. Yeah, we are with, a, with one cop the cop that really experienced all the narcos, Guys, the real narco stuff. My okay, my friends, my name is Carlos Palau. I'm local resident from here in Medellin. I was a cop, uh, I was a police officer in the era of Pablo Escobar. I was a police officer here uh, between 1990 until 2000. So when the people last here made a, a real Pablo Escobar tour about uh, to see uh, the other side of the history, like a ex police officer, like ex cop like me, I spread my personal experience between 1990 until 1993. Carlos the cop, yeah. one of our main guys, yeah. he's probably the best guy in the Crazy. city who can tell the story. Yeah. He was part of the SWAT team wow. during the Pablo days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he used to have nightmares all about this. And now he's doing tours. Basically, yeah. that's part of his therapy. So now I can tell you. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Nadia, Nadia, Nadia. Good morning. Hey. Now <laughs> we can start the day. Right. Cheers. We start to work for narcos, for criminals. Because it was really easier. Also, until today, for me, it's really easier. I want to be narcos. I want to be criminal. I'll have to say yes. From the schools, those criminals went there with body, with motorcycle, with guns. They start to say, guys, here is $100 for you. I'm only paycheck at that time for a regular civilian one. You can make $20 a month. That's nothing. And a guy give to you $100. That's so much. Yeah, Jesus, it's man. five times more. Five times. Yeah. Yeah. So then those guys say, if you want to make more money, it's $500 extra. But we need to know if you can do it. Just choose anyone over here, shot to kill. Wow. Don't worry. Because the first day when I put my uniform, November 89, I had a price on my head. 500,000 pesos if somebody can kill you. These guys, they know everything about your life, about your personal information. In today's tour, we will see different spots of the real history of uh, Pablo Escobar. We will see where he got caught. The house there is that the right location where we got him. 
The last call Pablo Escobar made that day was at 3 or 3 p.m. for 22 minutes. Enough time that both agents, Steve Murphy and Juan Peña, those guys are still alive, they intercept the call. And through the information, and my commander, Hugo Aguilar. The commander Hugo Aguilar is still alive. He was in part from here. The son of my commander went here undercover with a gun, Galil 556, that's made in Israel, and searching where is Palo Squad because you can see there's a lot of apartment lots. How you saw the movies? Palo Squad second floor, yeah. spoken, moved the window, he saw the car in front in the house. Now everybody knows where is Palo Squad. Los Pepes, enemies of him, Cali Cartel, Milit, everybody, where is Palo Squad? That day Palo Squad, no shoes, no seat belt, father normal. Palo Squad was a small guy, 5'6, five, 5'7. Five, mm -hmm. So he looked like a meatball. Yeah, yeah. Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> lemon, Lemon, coming here at the first floor with his gun like here, three really time Palo Squad, he can escape from, from, from the first floor. Lemon died there in the first floor. 34 bullets killed Pistar Lemon. Roberto Squad is still alive, he said that is enough, that's too much bullets. It's okay, but he was a fucking criminal. Right. Now, the commander Aguilar get into the house. Over here, there was a, a garage. That guy moved here at the right window. Palos Squad saw him, bam bam, he started to shot at the commander. The commander tell us he had a, a big gun MP5. Palos uh, saw him. Ah, and my commander one shot back too, but that was a big gun for a small room. Yeah. The MP5, something like that. And he checked his gun for the smallest. UC 9mm, 34 bullets. This is a nice gun. I don't know if somebody you shot a gun or gun, but yeah. this is beautiful. <laughs> Palos got a little break. He came from the right window at his private room. And his private room had a, like a escape route. Another small window. Probably he needed to jump from there and then want to go. He never started to shot. I'm done. He's still shot. Yeah. My commander followed the guy, used the wall for his confrontation, took his gun and shot like that. One bullet, nine millimeters, hit Palos Squad over here to over here. That bullet don't kill him. He's still fighting. Also, my commander, he say, he tell us, he's still fighting until the end. The last bullet who killed that guy was a gun. It's a bullet, nine millimeters. I'm here to another side, past two like this. Who killed Palos Squad? It's, ten, it's that 10 million US dollars question. Who killed him for squad? Why is it $10 million? Because that, was the, that is the reward. Wow. He probably wow. still active. $10 million reward. Uh. Reward, yes. My commander say, I killed Pablo Escobar. So he, he, he took revenge, because like me. I celebrate a lot of day. That's why I got to spend down too. A sniper of US, fake. Mancuso, chief commander of paramilitary group called Los Pepes, now in prison in US for the rest of his life. Uh, three years ago, for this time, he said, we kill Pablo. Enemies kill enemies. Or Pablo Escobar shot himself. I don't care. Most important is that. What is hard to know who killed the guy? Because the gun is gone. The bullet is missing. Somebody took it. So, but uh, we know. First, my commander took the photo, the famous photo in, in the roof. The both agents, Steve Murphy and Juan Peña, went there to know he the real body is Pablo Escobar. Those guys shake the mustache of Pablo Escobar, down and down. And he looked like a Hitler mustache. Nice job. Well, he, because those guys need to make a test of DNA to be sure it's, it's him. The agents say it's him, it's because it's him. It's more than 25 years. Pablo Escobar, he was killed over here, over there, in the other, in the, in the other side, in the other block. Until today, people like me, we're still making money. So now Pablo Escobar pay my bills. This is the building where they shot Lemon, and Pablo Escobar just received a bullet, but uh, as they say, they, he just keep fighting until the end. Now we visit like for a block from here, the exactly spot where he got killed. What we want to make clear from the beginning, Netflix 
the TV series that you see on Netflix, Narcos, is a TV series. So keep this in mind. Entertaining. Of course, there are some some part of history. This tour is showing us the real facts. This is what we really like. At the end of this tour, everybody will make his own conclusion about Pablo Escobar. We would like to give all the, you know, all the possibility to the people to have at the end the, their own ideas. That is the block. I saw the ambulance put it over here, coming with the body with the stretcher, the stretcher like this. His head, his face was fully blown. But I say it's unlike. So, because it was really easier. Like that, you know, one bullet, nine millimeters. He's a fuck man. We left our guns over there. We started the party. What's wrong? <laughs> wow. He said, you know what's good with that one? Now we came back to Medellin, and now we can get a golf. What is that one? Viva Colón. All the times I see, I remember that day. And because what's really important, not only for Colombia, not only for us, for Colombia. Here, the violence don't stop immediately. No. But now, Caps like me, we can start to make our own jobs. Because before, when any civilian coming to here to ask me questions, I need your help, I'm about to say, man, save your life for yourself. So look at me. 94, those people coming here to ask me for protection, I, now I can say, what can do for you? Because now we can make our own jobs. And man, I was a good cop. It was really good to get criminals. Yes. This one is the original location. This roof here is the original roof uh, where Pablo Escobar uh, got shot. Now we'll see the, the fake, the fake one. one, the one that Netflix used to film the movie. So it's just like... Yeah. Such a normal neighborhood, huh? Yeah. Crazy, man. Wild. Super crazy. I, I keep uh, having a good bump uh, when he says uh, a lot his story. own life. Like his yeah, dance, yeah. And, uh, I get a lot of. It's wild. You get emotion, Sarah. Yeah, I got emotional when he was speaking about the change of Medellin in just these 20 years. Like it's so a short time. Yeah, for, it's crazy. for a city to change, yeah. uh, and Medellin is huge. Yeah, like you said in Colombia, how many people now? How many? 40, million? 45 million. Something. 45 million, yeah. and it's like 20 years. It's nothing. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. So it's uh, really we, inspiring. Yes. Yeah. I have got goosebumps when yeah. you were saying, ah, you know, like 20 years ago, you cannot even walk on the street because there were exactly. uh, it's crazy. fighting on the yeah. street. And we were driving uh, with this van uh, and he keeps saying, okay, here people got killed, uh, there keep people got killed. Uh, a, a car, a police uh, car got bombed over there. The other one uh, was crazy. Like a war, really one war. What is the difference between narcos and cartel? Narcos is, is, is one guy control neighborhood or part of the city. Mm. Cartel is organization. Okay, 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 okay. That is dangerous. The guys control drugs here is not Colombian people. It's Mexico. Jalisco cartel. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm here, yeah. so it's hard to fight the country. Yeah. It's focused there in South of Colombia. Yeah. In South of Cali. So also those criminals from Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, pass the border, control yeah. drugs, and then back. Colombia is rich. Wherever you go, it's green, it's life. The best tropical fruits, mm -hmm. mamma mia. <laughs> uh, the best flowers, yeah. oh man, capiche. <laughs> the best coffee. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. For men, we are very lucky because the pretty girls, Jesus, I don't know what happened. <laughs> the second one is because it's anti tropical hill. Con Colombia is really big. Control all that kind of things is really hard. Yeah. The only way you can see a coquette plantation is not for the air. You need to walk. We, we just arrived to the cemetery where Pablo Escobar is buried, uh, and the Carlos uh, were telling us that the thing that uh, he likes most uh, of this tour is coming here because uh, 
he can say I'm still alive, uh, I'm older than, uh, like I'm still alive uh, and I lived more than Pablo Escobar. He survived Pablo Escobar, so this is the best part for him because he can walk uh, okay. over his, uh, his grave and say I'm alive uh, and you're not. Look at you, Pablo Escobar. You tried to kill me a lot of times, but you can. I win. Now you're on the ground. A piece and bones. But I have to say something, Pablo. Thank you very much because right now I'm making money under your name. December 1st was his birthday. He died next day at 3.30 p.m. Luis Fernando Escobar Gaviria, youngest brother of Pablo. Teresa Vergara Castaño, private teacher of his own sons. Ismelda Gaviria Escobar, Pablo's mother. Álvaro Jesús Agudelo, he was a taxi driver, Mr. Lemo. Juan Manuel Escobar Echeverri, his uncle. Mr. Abel de Jesús Escobar Echeverri, his father. His father, his father never was agree about the business of his son, mm. but he loved him. Also, when he was alive, he said, please, when I die, put me there in the same graveyard together with my son. The excavation of Mr. Pablo Escobar Gaviria was in 2006, at 6 a.m. Who went here? La Tata, mm. Pablo Escobar's wife. Uh, the two sisters, Nicolás Gaviria Orquijo, nephew of Mr. Pablo Escobar. Mm. Because those guys, they need to know the real bodies there is Pablo Escobar. La Tata say, I coming from, from Argentina because I want to see if the real body there is Pablo Escobar. Mm. Nicolás took the skull of Mr. Pablo. He said, yes, mm. he's my uncle. And the woman said, who killed him? Cops or Pablo Escobar shot himself? Mm. And the guy saw the two holes over here. And the guy said, no, my uncle shot himself. Now you see a lot of, over here, every day put flesh flowers. It's because we're talking about Mexicans. Jalisco Cartel is here in Colombia. And narcos coming here and pay. And every day, they just put flesh flowers over here. That's original. It's the only left ranch on Apolis. But for his private room. So his family took that one and put over here because ranch on Apolis now is, is gone. So when people come in here, they want to be old Pablo Escobar, I say, that is the best you can do it, mm. over here in the city. Go to Guatapé, it's another ranch, it's called La Manuela, but we only pass through. When people come in here, they say, oh, okay, want to see Ranch on Apples. I say, I can make that kind of tour, but I don't recommend. Why? Because it's a thematic park. Nothing there is still original. Carlos was telling us that uh, Pablo hey. put 53 car bombs in one day. That the one bomb has a value of 1 million US dollars. So he spent 53 US uh, million US dollars yes. just to kill people and he killed a lot of innocent people. When he was uh, inside the, the jail. Yeah, and he tried to kill cops, but at the end it just kill all innocent, the innocent people. people. So the innocent people, the family of these innocent people are still hating him since... Uh, since 20 years, yeah. 20 years. Carlos uh, told us uh, three stories about three times uh, he almost died. Uh, yeah, and and he one, uh, he survived three times uh, attempt of kill of himself. Uh, and one was uh, when Pablo was in jail and uh, he made uh, 43 out of yeah. bombs. 53, 53, 53 out of bombs. He just retired in 2002. He said, okay, I don't want, I, I've seen so many violence. I see so many friends die in front of me. He, he still has nightmares through the night. So, and he can smell the blood sometimes inside his nose yeah. in, the, in, the, in the throat. The throat. Pablo Escobar was a, a politician. He has done a lot of criminal stuff. He was a criminal and just a little part of the population he love him because of course, like every politician, he gave food, money to help poor people yeah. so that part of the population just love him money can buy love yeah we don't know and money can buy life we don't know we always know that's important to remember things and to keep the memory alive because history is important to don't forget in every country especially from the side of who was fighting yes the crime uh, fighting it. We, we still have to remember that it, they are doing something illegal, that uh, cocaine is something that kills people. Why is that that uh, all the uh, 
uh, cartel was in Medellin area because there is a subtropical area here so you can just uh, the weather hide. was perfect the weather uh, was perfect and all the farm you can hide even all the, the farm farms uh, they were saying that only way to see where they were farming cocaine was uh, by foot they cannot see it by right. plane or helicopters uh, that why it was a good place uh, just to hide uh, just to and not do in Bogota, that because we we were asking why not in Bogota? the temperature is so low it's raining all the, the time and here the location was perfect we are at uh, la catedral the place where pablo escobar built his own luxury prison nowadays is a monastery How would you see everything here is brand new. Now it's a monastery, a retired home. The cathedral was destroyed, no, no for the government. The same community live here, coming here with pigs to try to find money. They don't find money here, because cops like me, we are here first. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but I know too money. <laughs> over there, you see, is the retired home. Huh. That place over there, that was the football or soccer field. Huh. Inside of that one, there was the casino. Do you remember that Pablo Escobar took that photo in the Russian had in prison? Yeah. That photo was taken there. No way. Oh. Yes. It's crazy. December 1st, 1991, and his 42th birthday. The, the biggest party Pablo Escobar made in his life went here. Hmm. The photographer took 30 minutes, 3 0, to took the photo because Pablo Escobar can't stop to laughing. Huh. Behind the photographer, that was full of prostitutes. The biggest part of Paulo Escobar in his life went here in prison. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Man. These walls could speak. Yes. <laughs> For real. Man, you see the access. The only access to come here is where we're coming from. Yeah. This road in the time wasn't like that. It was off-road. 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 So only four by four cars or big trucks can come here. Wow. The lookout or the watchtower is not original. Paulo Escobar put there big aircraft machine guns. You know, it's wow. point fifty uh, for his own protection. Because a commander for El Salvador make a call, I spoke with Pablo Escobar at the time, and say, Pablo, be careful you there, because Cali Cartel went here, those guys bought a big bomb. If those guys throw away for there, can destroy their everything. And then Pablo Escobar asked permission to put for his own protection around all this area, big aircraft machine guns. Mm -hmm. Torture room was behind that one. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Bodyguards of Pablo Escobar kidnap people there. Hmm. They bring here his own enemies, but many times they bring here innocent people. Hmm. Then Pablo Escobar went there very often to apologize and say, man, I have two news for you. Good news, bad news. Good news, you are innocent. You have nothing to be with the war. The bad news because we need to kill you. <laughs> because we let you go, you want to tell everybody there what happened here in Cathedral. So the guys shot first, Change out, cut the body, and then burn it up. If you are guilty, they torture you first. Yeah. Something we found here, 120 dead bodies. Whoa. But not the complete bodies. Half. No, part. Part. Like Born, because man, it's a change out, they burn it up. So all that kind of things. The second time when coming here in prison was in 1998, because I was a commander here. Because now the problem is not Pablo Escobar, it's guerrillas. Hmm. I fight the guerrillas here in this area. Second time I went here, I saw the prison, to saw the prison. Mm. That was completely abandoned, but I don't stay here longer because I feel a very bad energy. When I stay here, is it, when you see somebody's behind you, you turn around, is anybody there, but mm. you feel it, mm -hmm. something like that. 2004, and Bigao government give that one at the monastery. 
So the priests and the monks can hear it bring a big exercise to be available to live. This construction is new. Medellin best view. The helipad you see there is not original. It's fake. Some tour guys come in here and say, oh, that is the original. No, it's not original. The helicopter land here, but that was like that in sand, you know? See, what is original? That's the stairs, you see? That is still original from prison. Okay. It's only left. Okay. Over there was the private room of him. Pablo Escobar in his private room had a big TV screen. When the guy saw a woman so pretty around the world, he don't care where, mm. people flew out the country, make that deal with a girl. Wow. The woman went there, stayed a night with Pablo Escobar. And Pablo Escobar paid for one night. You can say for the service. 100,000 US dollars a night wow. until 2 million US dollars a night. <laughs> <laughs> like that, no, 2 million US dollars, no, come on, guys. Uh, that kind of things over here, that was a tunnel. Germanic technology. Man, German is very good to make tunnels, not only Chapel. Uh, German, uh, German too. <laughs> German first than Chapel, okay. <laughs> AC system, good communication. He knew the tunnel for escape, it's a myth. When people say Pablo Square escape in a tunnel, and me, no, 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 that's fake. Mm. For his own protection, because now you know, Cali Cartel had a big bomb that for his own protection. Roberto Escobar bought the food for NASA. For mm. NASA. So he didn't escape through the tunnel? No, no. Just, no. Well, just for protection for the bomb, but he escaped through here. Through here. Just listen that one. I do do something over here. Mm. Mm. It's a hole there. So the tunnel collapsed. When the day was like this, clear, Pablo Escobar stayed here for all day because he can see his city from here. That guy had a big telescope like this. Wow. Good zoom and, and a phone. And his wife, uh, Victoria, now, the Tata, from the penthouse, say hello, everything here wow. is okay. Mm. That was all the power. My friends, the day when Palos Guardia escaped, we are looking for Palos Guardia for something three days. We made holes. Of course, we found a tunnel, we had all the evidence. He went there. Of course, we know yeah, yeah. he went there. The, the house you see over there, this neighborhood is, is here in Envigado. It's not original, but that the location is called El Salado neighborhood. Over there, uh, Palo Escobar stayed there. We are looking for Palo Escobar here for three days. Mm. We arrived here at 6, 6 a.m. something, mm. and Palo Escobar is there taking his own breakfast, probably mm. laughing. Mm. When we know, we have evidence Palo Escobar is there, we call over there, walk. We, until today, we can take three hours to go over there. It's like that. It's really risky. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful, but it's risky. Yes. We found another evidence. Pablo Escobar went there, but he escaped from us again. For another small, a small town is called Cocorna. Pablo Escobar is part of the history yes. of Medellin, part of the history of Colombia. Mm -hmm. So we love to show people the reality. So at the end, the people can make their own conclusion. Yes. Because this is it's free. what is free. Yeah, so it's good to just say that one because many tourists coming here, they love him. Yeah. I don't know if they're criminal or just junkies or I don't, yes. I don't care. I respect like as your tourists, you know. I don't care if you are black, if you are white. I don't care about your religion. I respect the people, the person. If you glorify or not, man, it's, it's your personal information, decision, I mean. But when the people take that too with me, with Carlos Palau, the escap, I promise I never glorify Palo Escobar. I got yeah. to tell the truth what happened about the I like an ex-police officer. I know how to tell the history about the victims, and don't glorify, because Medellin is not Pablo Escobar. Medellin is the flowers. Medellin is coffee. Medellin is the weather. You know what is more important in Medellin? The mm. people. Yeah. The people here is warm. Over here, we say good morning, good afternoon, very welcome. What can do for you? So when the people a come orden. here, a la orden, <laughs> it's that kind of thing. So that is, that is Medellin. How you say? It's history. You need to keep with the history. But be careful how we say about the history. Yeah. Not right. that I have to say everything. He made good things, yes, he built a house. He built a church, yes, he built a church. But we're talking about 46,612 victims. People, criminals, cops, and everybody is involved in there. Thank you so much, Carlos. Very welcome. Uh, thank you so much to Medellin City Tour that invited us to join this beautiful tour with this beautiful guy today. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for 
really sharing with us your feeling, your experience, your life. Sure, very welcome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Carlos. Hey, everybody, we are back from the tour. It was an interesting experience. We have learned a lot of the real history of uh, Pablo Escobar. It's uh, really important to us to show you what we see. We are usually able to see all these things from media or from uh, uh, documentaries or from uh, TV series. I need to be honest, like I really like the Narcos Netflix TV series. We were addicted. But I don't idolize, I don't want to say, okay, Pablo Escobar is my favorite uh, person in the world. We uh, know that they have done uh, a lot of uh, like, uh, a romanticism uh, around that. Uh, we learn here that uh, Pablo, uh, he was a murderer, he was a monster, he was a pedophile, uh, he was a politician, politi many, was, uh, many uh, things. Uh, because the tour guide was saying, okay, a lot of people here in Colombia, they don't like the fact that we are doing narco, narco tourism. But I think this is not narco tourism, this is part of the story. history. The history of Medellin is part of the history of Colombia. Of course you have a lot more to see, not just come to Medellin to see where Pablo Escobar uh, was, shot, was shot or uh, the cemetery. You have more to see. Guys, we hope you loved, you liked this video. Please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and, yeah, to subscribe our channel. Subscribe to our channel, please support us because uh, we are trying to spread the word, the new word, if you like the way we are traveling, if you like the way we are doing the video, please subscribe to the channel. So we love you. you guys, we appreciate you. Ciao guys, I love ciao. you. Ciao, ciao.